All right, guys, today is December 26th, the day after Christmas. It's the first day we've had that's actually gotten out of the 30s in over a week. So what I'm doing today is taking advantage of it. As you can see below me here, the water's frozen. At least little ponds and puddles are. And I'm just doing a little spot hopping where I'm just trying three or four different spots where I'm real close to the car. Only one of them requires the canoe. The rest are just from the bank. And I'm just trying to get spotted bass, pickerel, walleye, whatever, whatever bites. And uh, boy, the river is just beautiful right now. It's real green, real clear, and low. And I didn't expect it to be this low. It just looks absolutely beautiful. If I would have been smart, I would have made a, a trip out of it. But uh, she was gone. She went to a different town to go shopping. So I didn't have nobody to go with me. I don't like going completely alone in the canoe, really. Definitely not on a long trip. Looks like I'll definitely get something out of here. My gosh. Boy, it's just really good looking, man. Guys, I'm at spot number two. Spot number one was a failure, but it also wasn't very deep right there. Not a typical winter hideout for them. Right now, I'm trying this for chain pickerel for about an hour. Then I'm going to try where a creek comes in the river, which they always set in. And if I got time, I want a vertical jig for walleye and a wintering hole. Let's see if we can get some chain pickerel, guys. I usually get at least two or three here, so let's see what happens. A big old pit girl. Oh my. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, he's shadowing it. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he had it. Oh, man. Doing that shadow thing. There he was, right in front of me, guys. Look at this. Oh, another shadower. Oh, he picked it up. Got him. All right. No pickerel. Not bad. About 15, 16. Awesome. Can't believe how active these fish are for how cold it's been, guys. And I actually don't need pliers. City Shaker Green. Mm. 
Not bad little guy. First blood. It's a good sign. Now, how I caught him, he was following the lure and not wanting it. So I just stopped reeling it in and let it fall, and he went down and picked it up. Sometimes that works with these fish. You gotta, when they're following it, do something different to make it look anything different and sometimes that triggers that bite guys just stop the lure and let it fall straight down then pick it back up jerk it anything to give it some kind of different action got another one coming well they're active today they're falling at every almost every cast I got one falling behind it that's good, that's good. Oh my, yes. Come on, buddy. Get it, he's a nice one too. Two of them, there's two of them right in there. Oh my. Mmm. Oh, got it. Yes. Oh, it's a nice one, too. Oh, yeah. Don't jump. Oh, man. Nice pickerel. Tension on him. Oh, my. Yeah. He's decent. He may go. He's about 18. Hell, yeah. <clears throat> he is about 18. It's a nice one. him on that red clear and pink suicide shad <clears throat> big bite bait suicide shad not bad at all guys him all day there's another one sitting there too now I gotta try to wash my hands this nice winter water which is gonna be real fun here's the lure I'm using quarter ounce VMC moon eye jig head orange and yellow with a red and clear and pink suicide shad made by big bites baits big bite baits A bad pickerel, guys. Looks like this lure may be working better than the other one I had. <sighs> All right, buddy, don't go telling everybody now. Guys, I'm at spot number three. 
where this little creek goes in which comes from the spring that I was just fishing and these fish like I said they come in here in the winter time in this last hole to get out of that current every time I've come here in the winter I always catch three or four fish sometimes more I should get something looks like it's silted in quite a bit though Oh, I've already seen two fish take off swimming. Oh my. There's one setting right there too. Yep, so there's two fish that I just seen and oh, there went one, two, three. Oh my God, big old bass, like five bass. Holy cow, man. I'm definitely gonna get something, guys. I know for a fact there's five fish in here now. It's almost a guarantee that I want to get one of them. I want another one. He was big. There he is. Got him. Oh, we know there's at least four more that I seen that I just seen swim out of this creek into the main channel over there. A little spotted bass, about ten or eleven inches. All in the suicide chat, guys liking these swim baits unique color and they got a weird action to them different pretty cool first cast very first cast get one of the bigger ones he was I think that was one I didn't even that was one I didn't even see swimming there's four decent ones sitting in here that's the ones I'm wanting is the ones that took off swimming they were decent sized pot number four this is one I'm gonna try for spotted bass but I'm also gonna vertical jig for walleye with bucktail jigs that are one ounce in weight. Hoping I can get one. I'll be happy with one. There we go. Oh, got him. Yes. All right. Spotted bass boy. I thought I had a walleye for a second. Got him on the missile. Hey, hey. It's a fish. Heck yeah, man. Another one. Heck yeah, man. Two in a row. Man. All right. I am not complaining. 
complaining. Two fish out of two casts. Unbelievable, man. Did not expect to do this good. When it does happen, though, that's really sweet. All right. And here comes a boat to ruin everything. Here, we're gonna mess up this hole. spotted bass about 10 inch 11 inch <sighs> had another one already there he is Boy, they are just stacked in here, guys. Three fish out of four casts. Man. Awesome. My goodness. I'm already glad I came here, guys. Once again on that missile, three fish out of four casts. Now that's good sign, real good sign. Pretty nice little spotted bass too. Not a bad little guy. See if we can get four out of five. Man, I did not expect. I've never done good on this side. I always go across from me, but it's very snaggy. This side is, has a lot less snags. So that's one reason I decided to try over here. Didn't do real great. Didn't get any walleye or any big bass. But I did get the two pickerel and they were decent. And four or five spotted bass. I had one walleye nip at my hair jig, bucktail jig, as it was falling, and just where I couldn't set the hook though, and then he let it go. Kind of disappointed in that. If I could have got him, I know that's what it was. If I could have got him, it would have been a good day. All right. Until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe.